Hello there and welcome to another tutorial from AKCP. Today we're going to be having a look at the virtual sensors and in particular the energy meter within the virtual sensors. So the first thing we need to do is we're on our sensors page we're going to go to the virtual sensors uh, title and click here and this brings us to our virtual sensors page. Uh, so the, the next thing that we need to do is select a port uh, so let's select 7. Okay and now we've got our configuration button so we'll go right ahead and click the configuration button and from the source menu uh, we'll select energy meter and then we'll go ahead and click next okay so now we've got some options that have been presented to us the first one is the sensor name and we're going to change that from virtual sensor port 7 to something that ties in it's a bit more realistic we're going to change that to line 1 voltage uh, below that we have our meter type. Now this is, uh, gives you a lot of options here. You can have single phase or three phase and we're going to have three phase. Below that we have our meter ID. Uh, now this is quite important that the meter ID is specific to your unit, to your meter, uh, your energy meter. Now if you look on the front of your energy meter uh, on the grey sticker you'll see that in the middle of the grey sticker just to the right hand side of the LCD screen you'll see a white box with a number in it and that is the meter ID so before you type in the meter ID you need to make sure that you type 0000, 000, 000 followed by the meter ID so in my case it would be 1108 below that we have our reading and again we've got a lot of options here now um, you can choose an awful lot but we're measuring the voltage on line one so we're going to measure phase line one voltage then we have our type below where you can choose from relative or absolute and we're going to leave that as absolute and then we have our value factor and that's currently set at the moment uh, times 0 0.1 we're going to leave it like that so we actually get a reading of voltage the unit text we've entered V uh, for voltage which is what we want and then we have our value range for the slider bar and we're going to change this from 0 uh, to 100 to 0 to 300 and then we'll go ahead and click next and now we've got our slider and we want to set some uh, notification thresholds so again you can do this by dragging the blue arrows uh, left to right or inputting the value in the uh, boxes below and we'll just uh, We'll just m make these nice and close because obviously when it comes to power you don't want too much fluctuation. Uh, so let's just put these nice and close, something like that. And then we'll go ahead and click next. Next we've got a polling interval, uh, which is how often the unit is going to check for the information. Uh, we'll change this from 15 seconds to, let's say, every 5 seconds. And then we'll go ahead and click finish. Okay. Now at the moment you'll see that the current reading uh, it is a dash there. It does take a few moments just for it to uh, pull the information from the sensor. Um, so what we've got here is line 1 voltage. Then we have our source which is our energy meter. Uh, it's online and you'll see that at the moment we've now got our uh, voltage through and it's in a critical status. Uh, so let's just move these sliders a little bit further down here just to put this into the normal mode. okay and then we'll hit save okay so there we go and below you have the advanced mode button uh, again uh, you have the uh, rearm options here you have the graphing options the sensor URL exactly the same as in the other virtual sensors and you also have the option to open that link in the current window or a new window and below that you have the continuous time for a sensor to be in a new status before accepting the new status. Uh, if you're not sure on any of these settings you can actually go to the uh, sensor tutorial or you can look in the sen under the sensors uh, heading in the manual for more information. Um, and right at the bottom you also have the calendar options and you can toggle that on or off to bring up your calendar options uh, at the bottom. And um, we'll just click save. Okay, uh, now what I'm going to show you now uh, is on port 2, uh, you can see that we have something a little different here, which is our total active power, which is something I've already gone ahead and set up. 
we have the line 1 voltage and the total active power. I'm just going to go ahead and click on there. And this just now brings up, it's a different way of setting up the energy meter uh, that you can actually monitor uh, the total active power there, gives you your reading, your source, uh, and you have the status and you also have your slider at the bottom for your notification thresholds. Uh, it's just a different way of setting up your energy meter. Uh, again we have the advanced mode options below, uh, exactly the same as before. Uh, so that's all there is to it for the energy meter. Uh, remember to double check for your energy meter number on the front of the unit, because uh, remember it's uh, different to each unit. And remember to put those uh, four zeros in the front there before you enter your number. Uh, so thanks for watching.